from the hamlet of Coombe Disif in Denbyshire, Wales. Tonight I'm heading up a hill here named one of the Coombe or Coombe Mountain. One of the Coombe sits between Moyle Heradig to the north and Moyle Minor to the south and is a 304 metre tall limestone outcrop. One of the Coombe is uh, the northernmost Marilyn of the Cluidian Range. There are no great views to be had atop one of the Coombe because the summit is blanketed with a vast woodland and those woods are like damp and heavy and dark. Pretty eerie vibes up there to be honest. Um, the ground is full of moss and deadfall, fungus, so it could be hard to find somewhere to pitch tonight. Anyway, I better get a move on uphill. The church of St. Mile and St. Sulian here in Coombe was built in the 14th century. It was rebuilt around the year 1500 and there is said to still be medieval glass in the eastern windows today. St. Mile was a 5th century Breton and a follower of Cadfan and St. Sulian may have been the son of an 8th century king of Powys. The church is built of limestone from the local hills, the majority said to come from Moyle Hiradig. Coombe is home to one of the most haunted pubs in Wales, the Blue Lion Inn. The ghost of John Henry, a local farmer, is well known to regulars. He was murdered on the land in the 1600s by his own family over a land dispute. His ghost is known to manifest and walk through walls in front of disbelieving guests and he is responsible for a lot of poltergeist activity at the inn to this day. John is said to be a harmless spirit. I had little success researching one of the coom. I did find a hill walking forum where people make mention of how creepy the place is. One post mentions unusual carvings in trees and ropes hanging from branches for no obvious reason. Another claims to have disturbed people dressed in robes dancing in the woods before dawn. There's been an increasing number of big cat incidents reported in Wales in recent times. We're talking panthers and pumas roaming the countryside. An organisation named North Wales Puma Watch have a map on their website marking where the majority of incidents have taken place. And on that map, one of the coombe is in the middle of what appears to be the cat's roaming grounds. At the summit, there's a memorial for those who died in a cargo plane crash in poor weather conditions in December 1947. The plane was a Handley Page Halifax, registration G-A-I-H-U. The four men on board were experienced flyers, all ex-RAF. On a return flight from Lille in France, due to stop at Speak in Liverpool, the plane lost communication with the speed controllers 
and then lost its bearings. The plane was witnessed flying low over the coast of the World Peninsula, having gone far north of Speak before turning out into the Irish Sea. Reports then came in from Rill in North Wales of a plane flying inland, dangerously close to the ground. Soon thereafter, the plane crashed into one of the coombe, scattering debris and the linen cargo all about. Less than two hours had passed since departing Leal. All four on board perished. They were Captain John H. Parsonage, First Officer John Driver, Navigating Officer Alan Brook, and Radio Officer John E. Evans. It is interesting to note that the altimeter of the plane was never found. It is said that people from the local communities collected the linen, which was strewn about the hillsides, and made use of it from making clothing to toys for their children. Good morning. It's currently just after 5 a.m. Had a good four or five hours sleep. Woken up a couple of times by pheasants screaming in the woods. Other than that, can't complain. Not a lot is known about Munidakum. Walkers prefer Moyle Hiradig or Moyle Minor there for their impressive views. I wonder what the hill looked like without the trees. There is a small marshy pond on the hillside. Maybe there was a bigger lake before the forest was planted. The hill fort of Hiradig and the Gotcairn spiritual site sit to the north, with the barrow cemeteries of Minor there and Tremachion to the south. Amongst those, Munivakum, a tall hill with a deep pool at its peak, would have been a beautiful sight. There's one more thing I want to show you before I go. 
by chance I found this amazing view of the northern Cluidian Hills. Check this out.